Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good, Bucks fan? TTC. Man, oh man, oh man, what a disappointing loss. Well, not, I don't know, disappointing, not disappointing. Uh, honestly, I felt like we could have we could have uh, won this game, you know, but Colts, man, hats off to fucking, uh, damn, nigga. Yo, these cars, slow as hell. Uh, well, oh, yeah, first off, man, congrats to Matt Hasselback, man, doing his thing out there, man. Chewing up our defense, giving or taking what our defense is giving. Uh, let me hold on, let me put up these windows. Uh, yeah, taking what the defense is giving them and all that, man. Um, oh, on the radio, they talk about Kobe retiring next year or whatever. That's sad. I mean, not sad, but it's about time he hangs it up, man. I don't want to see, I don't want to see my nigga, uh, Look worse than what he already is, but anyways, that's something else. Uh, like I was saying, Matt Hasselback, man, props to Matt Hasselback, props to the Colts, their D line. You know, they played, they came out to play today, man. Them boys right there, bro, they came out to play. I mean, I've been saying it to me this season, bro. If I was them, I would let, keep letting Matt Hasselback play, man. Sit down, Andrew Luck, because Andrew Luck's been tripping the games he's been playing, he's been throwing interceptions. Uh, <clears throat> hasn't been accurate uh, For real real talk I feel like if he would have played against the Patriots They would have won Because uh, Andrew Luck missed a, a whole bunch of throws In that game But that was that game And now we're talking about um, This game that just happened A couple of hours ago man Props to the Colts man Them boys came to play bro Now if with us man I don't know man I feel like that game, we we still could have had that game, man. The, the things, like always, the things that will always haunt us and kill our game is not is not the defense playing bad and giving up yardage. It's not the offense, you know, not converting or whatever. Because we were converting. We were playing pretty good defense. What killed us was the penalties, man. They were killers, killers. Penalties that were on us. Or penalties that the ref clearly had wrong, which that doesn't matter anyways, man. Just the, just the flags in in general, bro. That's what killed us. That's what honestly killed our vibe today. I feel like that, and maybe just one, the the one catch that Mike Evans truly. I mean, he dropped two, I think, but it was one crucial one that if he would have had, he would have clearly he would have had a, a touchdown. You know, I mean, they say Jameis threw it, you know, under threw it a little bit. But, bro, it went right through his hands. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not one of those dudes. I'm not going to continue to be one of those dudes that, you know, bashes Mike Evans for dropping the ball. Um, I mean, it is what it is. But, man, I just I just want him to catch the crucial ones like that one. You know, I mean, went right through his arms, hit his leg, and he dropped it. But I feel like that... In the flags, man, look, we were in the game. We were in the game. We were in the game, man. That, and that last penalty that fucking destroyed it all was, you know, when Chris Conti jumped over their center or their long snapper and attempted to block the ball, which he tipped. But the refs threw a flag on that play. I mean, I don't know if it was me. I didn't see him touch nobody. I mean... Cam Chancellor did it like 10 times in one game and didn't get flagged for none of them. But I mean, <laughs> well, anyway, that doesn't matter. Anyways, what happened, happened. But I feel like, man, just, just, we keep destroying ourselves. We keep shooting ourselves in the foot with the penalties, man. Jameis had a spectacular game. If the blame is not on him. I mean, some throws, which, well, I mean, he played, he played good, man. He played excellent. Every quarterback has their bad, <clears throat> their bad throws in, in every single game, you know. But overall, he played spectacular. Doug Martin, I feel like he was going to have a monster game. Again, if it wasn't for the penalties and, and all in the bad field positioning because of the penalties, uh, I feel like Doug Martin would have had another huge game, which he was on pace to. I mean, he he, he went over 100. I'm not going to say it's a bad game or not. But, um, yeah, and, and on defense, you know, <clears throat> Jude – um, 
I don't blame him for anything, bro. I mean, I, this is a learning experience for him, actually. I'm glad this happened. It, it wasn't, and, and the plays that were caught on him were not really bad. He was in position to stop the play. Like, you know, our zone coverage is pretty much that. They catch the ball, you make the tackle, boom. Um, you know, they were picking on him a little bit. And, you know, they would say he should, you know, press a little bit more, this and that. But, you know, it's a learning experience. And I'm not mad at him. I know he's going to get better. He's just a rookie. He only really messed up one time, and I was missing the tackle on third down. I think they were running a drag route. <clears throat> Crucial third down. I forgot what receiver was it that caught it. It wasn't T.J. Hilton or T.Y. Hilton. Yo, somebody else. I don't know, but he, he missed the tackle. He went to tackle, and he missed it, and the guy picked up, like, five more yards for first down or whatnot. Um... Like I said, that was the only mistake that I seen that he made. Pretty much huge mistake. The other things, man, it's just a learning experience. And and it, he wasn't, he was not out of position on any of those plays. He was there, made the tackle, boom. He even made a couple, a couple of good tackles on a, on a Mod Bradshaw and all that, you know, in the run game. So it is what it is. And I mean, Sterling more on the other side. I think he had another solid game. The touchdowns were not on him, you know. I mean. Bradley McDougal, uh, again, it, it's 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 learning, it's learning, and that was the play call on offense. You know, suck him into to the tight end, and uh, I think it was T. Y. Hilton that caught the first touchdown. You know, suck McDougal into the tight end, and T. Y. was open on the outside, and it is what it is, man. Learning experience after that touchdown, uh, they didn't do it again, but this is what it is, man. Uh, uh, I left. I'm on the way to the basketball court. So I don't know who's winning out of Seattle and Pittsburgh. I think mean, I mean Pittsburgh, when I left the house, Pittsburgh was driving down the field. They were down by a couple of points. But uh Hopefully Pittsburgh wins, cause if if they do, then we're pretty much in the same position that we were last week or whatever. And we get to face Atlanta next week to see who gets that number six seed. If Seattle loses today against Pittsburgh but we'll see man oh no I'm not upset at the Bucks I'm not upset you know uh it's just a learning experience man our offense is still doing its thing like I said though man it's just the flags just the penalties bro just man look anyways I'm done I'm out I'm here and I'll holla at y'all later man dude shout out to all Buck Nation niggas and all this and that peace